Hey guys, it's Angelin here. In today's video, I'm going to try and amp up my phone. This is what my phone looks like currently. It is really boring in my opinion. When I bought this case, it was like $40 and I was not about to spend $40 on a super pattern case that I know I would get sick of in like a few months. I'm the type of person that like I buy one phone case for my phone and I don't get a new phone case until I get a new phone. So um, that's the story on this. I've been seeing so many cute girls on Pinterest with cute phone cases that match their outfits and it just looks super cute when they take mirror selfies and like they have a whole like decked out phone so that is my goal for today I want to add a phone charm onto here and also since my case is clear I was thinking it would be super cute if I added like magazine clippings or just printed out pictures and cut them out to put them inside of this case today's video I'm trying to make it a little more of like a vlog style video I feel like a lot of my other videos were just like sit down tutorials where I just was filming like one craft and just showing you exactly how to do it but I kind of want to give you guys a little more insight into like what's going on in my life and how my day is going and just have it be like a chill casual video with you guys so I hope that you'll enjoy this kind of like follow along video let me know in the comments what you guys think of this idea what you guys think of this video we are currently sitting in the Hobby Lobby parking lot right now I'm going to go inside to see what kind of beads that they have now without further ado let's get started and head inside of Hobby Lobby. I want to find beads that kind of match this pink just so everything's like focused. So there's cord over here which I'm gonna need to like tie the whole phone charm on. So my phone case is a little dirty so it's not completely like bright pink but I'm thinking like one of these pinks would be good or maybe one of these. The blue actually would be cute to be like contrasting. So maybe my whole case will be like pink and blue, pink and blue themed. Now we gotta look for the beads. There's some super cute ones here, like these purple ones, but they don't really go with like the vibe that I'm looking for. I'm super sad that they don't have like the smiley face beads that I was wanting because I was really banking on those being like the main character of everything. All right, so we are back from, or we're back in the car from the inside of Hobby Lobby. Tonight we're actually gonna go watch The Conjuring 3, so I'm not sure if I'll end up making the phone charm and doing everything tonight. So if not, I will see you guys tomorrow to go and do the whole phone makeover. Good morning, guys, or I guess maybe afternoon now? I actually should probably clean this area a little bit. It is very messy. I've been avoiding this table for a while because of this. So Flora and I have gathered all of the beads in my house. I'm gonna go through all of my beads and see which ones kind of like match the vibe that I'm going for for my phone charm. So yesterday when I went to Hobby Lobby, I filmed this part in the car, but I'm still getting the hang of refilming things or like learning how to film things right and the car was just not it. It's kind of noisy in there and I set the camera on the dash and it was like mm. Let me just tell you guys about what I got. I got these two colored seed beads because I don't have these two colors and I ended up getting the colored string and I also got something else. Anyways, I cut this piece of string already and I don't really know how long this is, but I just eyeballed it. I have a bunch of beads, like a lot of beads. This thing, these two little carrying cases are from like Tuesday, ow, Tuesday morning. I've had these since I was like a kid. Like my mom bought these when I was in like elementary school and middle school. There's a lot of really cute glass beads in here, but I just have a feeling that glass beads are not going to be a good idea because if I drop my phone, which I 100% will drop my phone, the beads are just going to break and it'll be tragic and I just, I don't want to deal with that. So plastic beads only. I have some really cute little like like natural pearl ones that are like misshapen can you see i think i want to spell my name out actually i have another bag of beads um oh, okay there's a little like thing of like rhinestone charms <gasps> okay this star beads these let's get started so i have a piece of string cut i'm just gonna start beading i'm gonna start with my name first actually i feel like i should give you guys a view of what's going on down here so let's just move that around well i'll make it happen i'm definitely gonna spill these <laughs> I'm scared i'm scared i'm scared 
Oh, okay, that was not bad at all. Cool, cute. <gasps> that is so cute. I need something that's like a darker pink, maybe like this. Sure. So I always get a lot of like compliments and comments about my nails. This is what they look like currently and I'm in love with them. I did them myself. My current favorite gel brand is called Nail The Nail Addict and they are actually doing a giveaway with me on my Instagram right now. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, go do it because they're giving away a whole entire like complete gel kit so that way you guys can do your own gel nails at home which is just amazing we're getting closer this is like super therapeutic like if i was sad right now beads would probably hit like just right about to add on the big shebang oh it's so cute this might be a little too chunky Mm, um, I don't know about that one. Spilling one of these is like my worst fear. Like imagine having to clean that up. So I'm about finished with the whole shebang. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to try to tie the knot up here first. So I've tied the first knot up here. I'm going to tie the second knot down here to hold it all. Hold it down. So I'm just gonna loop it through like this. I think I'm doing that right. Wait, no. I'm so excited. It is so cute. Look at that. And <gasps> so cute. Okay, it might be a little bit on the short end actually. I need to go and figure out like what else I'm gonna do with the inside of my case. So I'm gonna charge my camera. And it might actually not be till tomorrow that I film the last part. But yeah, I'll see you when I see ya. Good morning. The kitchen's a mess. I'm about to make some fries in the toaster oven because I'm a little snacky and then we'll get started with the rest of the DIY. Um, so I realized last night that I don't actually like have a working color printer. I'm pretty sure it's out of ink. I'm gonna have to improvise. I think I'm gonna end up finding like old magazines that we have in my house and just cutting things out from there. Bringing my dog outside to chill for a little bit while the fries cook. She loves to watch bugs outside. Does anybody else's dog like to watch the bugs? Flora, do you see anything? No, her focus cannot, cannot be broken. Ooh, they look so good. Got my kombucha and keeping up with the Kardashians playing. Just finished eating and I just got a package from DHL. So, Verge Girl contacted me on Instagram. I have been loving posting fashion content on my Instagram. It literally, like, is so, so much fun to me. So, to have, like, somebody contact me about getting some clothes for me to style is so exciting. Cute little note. <gasps> this is cute. I've been seeing so many cute, like, sets like this online. And then I also have this knit dress i've been seeing this pattern like everywhere <gasps> i'm finally gonna get started with with the diy i have a bunch of magazines this one looks pink i'm just gonna like cut out whatever i think is cute and i don't want a ton of things in my phone i just want a few oh these stars are cute I wish there was like a faster way to look through all of this. This is like a food magazine. Maybe I need like a fashion one. Let's look through this Cosmo. There's a little piggy bank there that I think is so cute. I kind of like this thing up here that says money problem. Let's see, Miss Anna Kendrick. <gasps> That's cool. Okay, so I think I'm done like choosing everything money problem 
these little stars. Um, which speech bubble do I want is the question. Done. It looks like a lot less than I feel like what I thought I had, but it's okay. We'll put it in the case and see what it looks like. Take my phone out of the case. You can see my little pink tripod. Like that maybe? Maybe like that? This little XO down here. So it turns out I don't need the feel the love thing. Hopefully this doesn't like shift them around too much. Oh, I'm scared. This couch is squishy. I feel like I should have done it on a hard surface. Wait, I'm so stupid. This is literally backwards. Okay, this way. Reveal. Hey, it's cute. I feel like there's an empty space here. I guess there is that blue A. So I ended up cutting out that little A and this rose. Maybe I'll do this up here. Okay. Oh, perfect. So there she is. That is so cute. I love it. So here is the finished phone case and phone charm. I'm literally in love with this color scheme and I can't wait to take mirror selfies with this. Shout out to all of the Pinterest girls who made me want to do this in the first place. Also, I'm excited to be able to change out the stuff that's like in it once I get tired of it. So I think that wraps up everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this like craft video slash vlog type situation I was doing. I am still getting the hang of trying to edit and make things interesting and fun. So let me know what feedback you have for me. I would love to hear it. If you can, I would love if you could like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things. It really helps me out and means a lot to me when you guys do. And you best be knowing, I will be taking a cute Instagram picture with my phone case. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, be sure to go follow me on there. I post tons of cute fashion content and I also post updates for my YouTube channel on there as well. And yeah, that wraps it up for today's whole craft video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!